Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these bohemian style boot cuffs. And you can wear them on casual boots or on dressy boots. You can even wear them with clogs. And I'm going to use Red Heart Super Saver yarn and a 9mm crochet hook. At the end of this video, in the top right corner, there will be an iCard which will have a link where you can go and get your free written pattern. And I'm going to start with a slip knot. And you can make these as wide as you like. I'm just going to make them narrow today. So I'm going to chain 7. So chain 7. And I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And in each stitch all the way across the row. Like that. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. I'm going to chain 1 and turn. And I'm going to work in the back side of the stitch only. And I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across the row. So go ahead and single crochet, working in the back side of the stitch only, all the way across the row. Chain one and turn. And you always start working in the second stitch of the row. This chain one and turn takes the place of that first stitch. So if you look at it from up here, it's the third stitch from the hook, but it's actually the second stitch of the row. So I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in each stitch across the row for every row, working only in the back side of the stitch. Now I'm going to go off camera and do that to the correct length, and then I'll come back and show you what happens next. Okay, I worked this until it was long enough to wrap around the cuff of a boot. And it's quite stretchy, so it will fit a number of different boots. And weave these yarn ends back and forth into the finished work. Okay, I chained a cord, and it's about three feet long. And I'm just going to weave it back and forth all the way across the center of this rectangle. Okay, so I've passed it all the way through. And now I'm just going to crochet a flower to put on the side. And I'm just going to start with my slip knot. And I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Carrying this yarn end along the outside so that you can close the hole in the middle. I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to make 12 double crochet in the ring. So just go ahead and make 12 double crochet in the ring. So double crochet is yarn over, insert the hook through the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. So go ahead and make 12 double crochet in the ring. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've made 12 double crochet in the ring, and I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet slip stitch to join. And now I'm going to make a picot all around. To do that I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the same stitch just so there won't be a gap there. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch. So you can see this is forming these picots all around. So I'm going to do that all the way around and I'm going to end with a slip stitch right here. Okay, I chain three all the way around. I did my last chain three. I'm going to slip stitch right there at the base of that very first chain three. And fasten off. Now you can pull that yarn end from the beginning. And then you can close up the hole in the center of this medallion. And then I'm going to sew a button in the center. I'm going to tie these two yarn ends together on the back. And if they were long enough, I would just keep, I wouldn't cut them off. I would just keep them to sew this onto there. But they're not really long enough, so I'm going to remove them. Now I'm going to sew my button on, and then I'm going to attach it by sewing it with my yarn onto the side of the boot cuff. Okay, I've gone ahead and done that. I'm just going to make some little tassels in this color and attach them. And to make a tassel, I just wound the yarn around my four fingers, pass another piece of yarn through, tie it into bundle. I'm going to take another piece of yarn, tie it a little knot to make a little bundle here at the top, 
Kind of open all these loops, trim it off evenly, like that. Tie all this off into a square knot. And one more knot, just to be sure. And then with my yarn needle, I'm going to weave this color into here and this color into there. Like that, and I'm going to do another one on this side. Okay, now I have both of those done. And I'll show you how they look. Okay, so that's how they look on these very casual style boots. And on these tall boots. On these short dressier boots. And worn around the ankle with a pair of clogs. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed these Bohemian boot cuffs. On the right corner, you can get an iCard where you can go and download this pattern for free on my blog. Don't forget to share these videos with all your crochet friends. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.